Welcome to Drum Addicts on Anderson's TV. And today, me and Doug are gonna talk about this lovely Pearl Reference Kit. So, this is your daily driver, effectively, isn't it? You, you it is, play yeah. this for, for work. Yeah I, uh, yeah, I do the Book of Mormon show up in London, and the kit that was provided for the show was a Pearl Reference Pure. Um, so yeah, so I've uh, had quite a lot of experience in playing them, and, uh, and yeah, man, sounds absolutely brilliant. This one has got a smaller bass drum than the one I use on the show, but still just as punchy, just as much oomph, and just, uh, yeah, really easy to tune, really warm, rich sounding drums. Brilliant, yeah. What is special about this one is the finish, because this is the only kit in this size, in this color, in the UK. So um, Pearl did a load of limited edition sizes and colors, and we got this one. So super cool, like retro looking, little yeah. fusion setup it's the perfect kit for someone because it is pretty cool yeah beautiful finish um what's the name of the finish do you know uh, so this is one of the sort of five different finishes that we ordered so there okay. was a couple of different ones this one's the ice blue oyster oh nice um, yeah there was another abalone blue and a few other different things so yes it's a standard reference but it's a special finish so that was yeah why we picked this one off the shelf today the other cool thing or the difference, which you alluded to earlier. This is a reference pure kit. Yeah. Uh, we've got a reference snare. So red badge writing for reference and blue badge for the pure. So very nice. Bit, bit of everything. Crack, this is cracking snare that. Also yeah, great yeah, snare, yeah. yeah. So weighs a ton, but yeah. <laughs> it does weigh a ton, but um, we'll zoom in. There's a good reason it weighs a ton. So it gets, you get a special head with it because it's just Shall such I a think. thick drum. Cool features though, stainless steel, spin lock, tuning, tension yeah. rods, um, the super cool throw off where you can't actually accidentally get it off unless you push the button in and then it yeah. goes super smooth. Um, you can also adjust it at the other end. The other one also has, like you can't adjust it unless you push it down, then you can adjust it nice and easy. So once you've tuned this drum, it really will hold it. Yeah. We tuned it a couple of different ways as well. So Yeah, man, it sounds great, yeah. Apart from you get a bicep workout every time you move it. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's a very versatile drum, isn't it? It's super cool. It is brilliant, yeah, yeah. This is a little fusion setup, 10, 12, 14, 20. We got other finishes with other different colors. So we had a 24 and a 22. So you had to be quick if you wanted certain colors because there's only one of them. Yeah, yeah. And um, what we got, we got the fat tone hoops rather than the sort of big chunky die cast hoops. So reference and reference pure have different hoops on. But it's all super cool, good quality pearl stuff. I mean, I actually prefer these tube lugs to these sort of swivel styled lugs but you've owned snares in the past reference snares haven't you so i have indeed yeah yeah um and yeah i i've had one with the older lugs but i know what you mean about these lugs something slightly more classy about them i'd say and yeah and uh, also the brass inserts just yeah. gives it a little bit of bling i quite like that just yeah. a little it's lovely um and yeah the snare is great i assume that's available separately from the kit yeah is so it? this yeah. is a this is a shell pack. You don't get Tom Arms or anything with it. So if you stick it in your basket thinking, I love that color, got to have Tom Arms and clamps. So yeah. the ones that we use, just like the ATB20 clamp and then TH900s we were using. So yeah. um, which will fit into the Opti mount, which you do get with it. So we'll clarify that out because people ask, do you get floor tom legs and mounting 
systems, it's like, yep, you get the OptiMounts, but you don't get the arms. So cool. here we go, top tip. What would you rather have, this blue, or the one, the snare? The oh, the darker blue. blue. Yeah, the abalone blue. Personally, for me, it would be the darker blue. But the, this is lovely, this is absolutely lovely, but if I was to get one myself, yeah, it would be the darker blue finish. But that's just my personal preference, and dark blue is my favorite color. It goes so. with your other... Yeah, my other dark other blue kits, kits that yeah. I have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, check out the links below. We'll stick it in. There's a few different coloured snares. So there's like a nice silver one, a champagne. So um, the kits, once they're gone, they're gone. They're super quick. But we did get a couple of snares. So there's one snare in each colour. So yeah, check them out. The, the limited edition Motor City coloured references are super cool. Yeah, man. All very Brilliant. limited and sound great. I hope you like Doug's playing. Did yeah, sound. hope I've done it justice. Oh, well, <laughs> the track that you're playing on this one, super, super cool, rocky track, isn't it? So, yeah, man, yeah. Um, Doug actually composed, wrote, orchestrated yes. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All written by me. So uh, Not all performed yeah. by him. Not all performed by me. Yeah. Lots I had of to friends. get people who knew how to play the instruments to come and do that bit. But, um, but yeah, do a lot of writing and, yeah, it's nice to, yeah play some of my tunes out in the real world. Yeah. yeah, so check them out. We'll stick Doug's links in below. Um, check the kit out with all, all the different snare options and things like that in the links below. Um, this is Drum Addicts on Anderson's TV, and we'll see you next time.